guys and welcome back to my channel today I am going to show you guys how I get these fluffy soap brow ish type brows with just a few products that I use now this is my typical my go-to brow when I do glam or when I'm wearing makeup not my everyday brow but just you know when I put on a little bit of makeup this is what I have been doing lately just because I feel like sometimes with when I use my dip brow my brows just kind of look harsh or they just my brow hairs get lost within the dip brow because I don't have a lot of brow hairs this has been my go-to way of doing my brows because it gives me that fluffy full effect and it looks like I have you know my brow hairs are actually standing out so it looks a little bit more natural and I just have been loving this way of doing my brows so I wanted to do a tutorial because I've never done a brow tutorial on my channel if you guys want to see how to do this look just keep watching let me just give you a little backstory on my brows they are ombre ombre they are ombre powdered fill which is kind of like it's like a soft tattoo for your brows and I've gotten them done twice now and the last time I got them done was actually over two years ago and I think two or three years ago now. I was going to get them done like retouched up last year but then COVID happened so I do plan on getting it retouched again however I'm not gonna lie the pain of them doing it hurts so bad like honestly probably worse than any of my tattoos that I have it's just it's so sensitive right here and it's like right by your nerves and so I'm just like dreading it and kind of putting it off but as you can tell I do need it done because they're pretty much all faded so day to day I will just throw on some powder but when I do do my makeup um, I've been using the Patrick Ta shaping wax and Anastasia dip brow. I don't like the look of like soap brows, but for me, this does, you know, make my few hairs that I have here look a little bit fluffier. So let me stop talking and let's just get into the tutorial. Let me zoom you in. All right, so before I get started, I did want to show you guys some tools that I use to maintain my brows. Again, like I said, I have ombre powder filled brows and so I just use one of these razors and of course be careful with it because it is a razor, but I just go and like clean up everything that's not ombre powder fill. And then I'll just use some scissors to cut any hairs that are a little bit long. I'm just going to clean up this brow just a little bit. It's not too bad. But what I usually do is brush my hairs downwards to cut them because my brow hairs grow like straight down and so they can get a little crazy. And that's pretty much it. The first thing that I do is take my Patrick Ta brow brush. It has a spoolie on the edge and then an angled side. And I take my MAC Fix Plus and I take, it's tinted. Honestly, I don't really notice a huge difference with the tint. So you could just use any clear or tinted. Spray it like that. Take the spoolie side and just kind of go in circular motions just to grab some product on there. You don't want it too, too wet, but you need it to be like a creamy consistency. What I do is I, I twist my brush so that way all my hairs get product on it and I'm not going to worry about what it looks like yet. I'm just making sure that all the brow hairs have product on it and a good amount because you want it to be able to stick eventually. Just again 
going through my hairs and spinning or twisting my brush. The important part is you want to make sure that each hair has enough product to stick, otherwise it's not going to work as well. After I think I got all product on my hairs, I will kind of just run through it. And when you run through the brush, the hairs should stick to your skin and none should be like, you know, chilling by itself. The front part, I prefer to brush straight up like that. And then I will brush the rest of it at an angle, like towards up here. It should be able to just stick straight up. So see the difference? between my two brows, like this one is so much more lifted and all the hairs are in place. And so obviously I don't want my brow to be that thick. So what I do is I take my spoolie and I will just go to the top. Of basically where you want your brow to start and just kind of run it along and swoop it and then once you do that i kind of like because obviously i don't know if you could see on camera but you could see that the brow hairs is like this the curved so you don't want it to look like that so then i just kind of go in and fix it fix the top and kind of like do that okay so then we're gonna do the other brow spray it again if you need to this is my trouble brow, so please excuse her if she gives me trouble today. We all have that one brow and this is mine. She just like does her own thing. She also has less hair on this side. Like so. And so now I'm just going to brush upward. Ta-da! And so that's what it looks like with just the wax. And so now I will take my dip brow pomade. Take the angled side of your brush. I just dip it very lightly a couple times. And so with this, you want to either make hair-like strokes on your brows or what I do is I take like the side of my brush and I just push it upwards where your brow hairs are. Kind of just flick it to make it look like hairs. You don't want it to be too, too dark. And then just flick the brush up. Okay, that got a little messy. I'll take the spoolie again and just kind of run the brush how you want the hairs to be placed. My favorite part, the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. I have the color Custard. And honestly, this is probably the best concealer that I've found to clean up brows because it's almost like a mousse consistency so it smooths everything underneath so and I take it on like a flat concealer brush and just go right underneath the brow and then pull the product downwards And there you have your brow and then you just obviously want to blend the concealer into your eyelid if you had like thick brows you could definitely get away with just using the wax but I do not again I'm just putting placing the product in the direction the hairs are going We're done with the pomade. Again, take your spoolie, just lightly brush the hairs 
back into place. This also just makes them like pop out a little bit more. Take your concealer. With this one, you just need a tiny bit. It's very pigmented. A little goes a long way. And there you have it. My brow routine. Brow routine. <laughs> My brow routine that I typically do for when I'm doing like a full glam, full face of makeup. Not even a full face of makeup, but just not my everyday brow, but this is my fluffy soap brow brow tutorial. Again, like I said, I don't like the full like soap brow look. So this is like my toned down version of getting fluffy brows when you don't have that many brow hairs. All right, so I hope this tutorial was helpful. Please leave a comment down below if you guys have any questions on what I used or how I did my brows. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, I upload new videos on Tuesday and Friday, so don't forget to subscribe if you're not already so you can be notified of my future uploads. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.